Hi, my name is Ryan. I'm an educator here at the Leonardo Museum. Welcome to this week's Leo at Home, our virtual portal for kids, parents, and teachers to continue creating and innovating right from your very homes. Here at the Leonardo, we love to combine science, technology, and art to make incredible things, and my favorite place to do that is here in the kitchen. Don't believe me? Check this out. This is a layered drink. It's made of two different drinks floating on top of each other. Our adults might recognize this drink as something you might find in a cocktail bar. But don't worry, you can make layered drinks without using any alcohol at all. In this case, this is lemonade and cranberry juice. Today we're going to show you how to make your very own family-friendly layer drinks and show you the science behind them. You ready to get started? Let's go! All right, to make our layered drinks, we have to learn a little bit about something called density. You might have heard of density before, but do you know exactly what it is? Density is how much stuff is inside a space. Hmm. Let me get an example to help us out. I have two jars with me. One is full of flour, the other is full of pretzels. Which of these jars is more dense? They're the same size and the same shape, but one is more dense than the other. What do you think? Well, pretzels are bigger than flour, but they have holes in them, and they don't really fit into our jar very well. While our flour packs in nice and tight, there's a lot more flour in here than pretzels in here, so the flour is more dense. What does this have to do with our drinks? Well, liquids can have different densities too. This water in this jar has a density of fresh water, and we can use that to know what's going to float or sink. If I found something that was more dense than this water, like this rock, and I was to drop it in, it sinks right to the bottom. But if I found something less dense than water, like this ping pong ball, which is mostly air, it's going to float right on top. I can even find something that's in between those two, like this ball that's full of water. Listen. I'm going to drop it and let's see what happens. It's more dense than the air in the ping pong ball, but it's less dense than the rock, so it ends up somewhere in between. Now, we can change the density of water by adding more stuff to it. The Leonardo Museum is located 20 miles southeast from the Great Salt Lake in Utah. Now, if you've ever been swimming at the Great Salt Lake, you've probably noticed it's a lot easier to float in it. That's because it's full of salt. <laughs> the Great Salt Lake has so much salt in it that it has a higher density than normal water. So if I was to take this salt and add a little bit more in here, I just increased the density of that water. If I added a lot more, this ball might even float a little bit higher. I think we have all the parts needed to make our layer drinks. Density is how much stuff is in a space. A more dense item will sink in, water, or in a liquid, but less dense will float. And you can have liquids with different densities. So what we need to have is a liquid with a less density than another liquid. And if we pour it carefully enough, it will float right on the surface. Ready to see if we can make it happen? Let's head back to the kitchen. Here we are back in the kitchen and it's time to make our layered drinks. To do this, you just need a few items. You need some clear glasses so you can see the layers. You need some ice, a spoon, and a few different types of drinks. Now, you can really use any type of drinks you want, but I recommend using some that taste good together so I wouldn't mix coffee and lemonade. And I'd pick ones that have different colors so you can see the layers. Today we have 
an orange fruit punch, cranberry juice, and lemonade. So, when we talked about liquids and different densities earlier, we talked about it with different amounts of salt inside. But these drinks aren't salty, they're sweet. So instead, we have to look at sugar. To figure this out, it's actually pretty easy. If you get drinks from the store, they should have a nutrition label on the back that will tell you how much sugar is in each one per serving. This has 16 grams of sugar per 8 fluid ounces serving size, so I'm going to put that down. 16 grams. There we go. The fruit punk, or the, um, the cranberry juice, has 31 grams. And a lemonade has 5 grams. All right, now that we know the three different amounts of sugar densities, we can organize it by least to most dense. So, let's see. Here we go, cranberry is the most, lemonade is the least. All right, so when we start, we want to start with our most dense because it's going to sink right to the bottom. If we pour it in second or third, it's going to sink in and mix all together. So we'll start with the cranberry juice. To pour it in, we have our glass ready. I've already added some ice to it. You can do that this, at this point or after you pour the cranberry juice. And you're going to want to pour it about a third of the way full. There we go. All right, we got a cranberry juice. Now comes the tricky part. I have my next densest liquid, this fruit punch. If we pour it in too fast, they'll blend together still. So we have to find a way to slow it down when it mix it, or when I pour it in. There have been two ways I've learned to do this. One is to fill the cup with ice so the water hits the ice and slows down as it drains down to the bottom. The other way is to pour onto a spoon to slow it down. Either way works. I recommend trying both and seeing which one works better for you. To be safe, I'm gonna do both today at the same time. All right, so I have my drink, have my second densest liquid. I'm gonna pour it. Let me. Oop, that might have been a little too quick. Put it me down. And we start to get a layer forming. There we go. All right, let's do a little bit more. If it mixes a little bit, that's okay. These are all juices, so they should all taste good together. All right, now. To do the third one, it's the same exact thing. Just gotta pour it in nice and slowly. I have a little less ice, so I'm gonna go a little bit slower this time. And here we go. A layered drink for the whole family. And the only way we can do it is knowing about density. Did you enjoy our video today? Did you enjoy making your very own layered drink? Well, show it off to us. Take a photo and post it on social media, either Facebook or Instagram with the hashtag Leo at home so that we can see your awesome creation. We might even feature one on our website. But that's all the time we have for today. Until next time, keep creating and innovating.